Uh, supports it also crazy idea, right? Maybe we should do mainstream stuff and not like P3 and SGFT. Maybe mainstream stuff is actually what people want to watch. So um, stuff with that here with our Linux. Um, for those who are new to this channel, we run Linux distribution for 20 years already. And um, support already ARM and uh, ARM64 and have previous video runs this in QEMU hypervisor framework already. But of course, Mac OS being Mac OS getting on my nerves already. <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> anyway, so the stuff is not non-standard stuff is you need to package all the stuff. The other video we already packaged M1 N1, the bootloader that even cross compiles on Linux. Amazing stuff. And now we need to package the forked Torvalds Linux kernel stuff here. And um, that currently has some uh, 30 or so patches on top of the fork from Linux kernel. Where was that written? It was somewhere like, uh, where did I click a second ago? Uh, maybe, um, where did it, anyway, it doesn't matter. Some 35-ish patches and we could multiple ways to package this. So what we need to do is we certainly need to, um, based on this amazing reverse engineering work from the Asai Linux team, um, Hector Martin and, uh, and Gang and Corelius or so, uh, this virtualization uh, startup company there, who, which also did publish patches from all the iOS, iPhone, iPad work previously. And so we could either cherry pick all of those, but as you see, um, this is like, here is the fork from here. So Linus Torval there. So all this page is one, two, where did it say this? So like 35-ish. And so what this means is all of this commits implement some detail, uh, like here, IOQ hold handle direct directly. So this is all quirks and stuff of like, an Apple Silicon is doing it differently, diff different features, certainly different hardware, um, like CPU cores, different features, stuck and wake up and SMP and stuff. And it's certainly like compatibilities. So what else? So this is, some stuff is like pretty light wide of just adding stuff to the device tree bindings so that uh, as the name implies device tree bindings. So this is uh, interesting, um, super tiny stuff. So we could cherry pick all of those, but maybe um, meaning download all of those um, and add them as patches, like to download. The problem is it's 35 of that and well, we do this for the P3 and SG Octane. Um, it's getting a little bit much. And so I'm thinking maybe we rather um, change the ARM64. Um, we currently show we support the Pine phone and different stuff, but maybe we simply switch ZNT2. We have this feature of overlaying packages, uh, which ironically I just um, recently on the other live stream some days ago. Um, deleted the pine phone overlay because it was getting some um, how long like six months old or not even six months old I don't know six months old um, 590 and um, so let's maybe revert that um, and then change that so uh, did I probably did that um, but of course we will not simply use that but Actually, maybe we, ironically, we could keep some patches. Um, so much to now, we just deleted that. So for next to nothing, what was all right? So, I mean, some of this stuff is actually our T2 stuff, uh, or, or, or like most of the stuff actually. Uh, so much to reverting that, uh, that, that revert didn't last long. And um, switch that over to this tree. This is of course a little bit unprofessional of every quarter depending on what hardware we work you see on this channel or in general in our office we usually don't do this this is just the nature of this either in the case of the sg octane um, vintage gear that nobody else nearly nobody else support or in this case latest and greatest reverse engineering stuff some of the stuff is slowly trickling upstream meaning source change sets sent by the asai linux crew um, two Linus Torvalds or the maintainers, so the respective driver, uh, storage, um, ARM and stuff maintainers. Um, but for the, I expect four years to come, we probably have 
dozens of patches because even if those 35 patches in the next month would get upstream, there will be always new stuff, right? We have the machine uh, learning uh, course there. We have the uh, much more important, certainly graphic um, course. This stuff currently doesn't even include Wi-Fi, I think. Um, I think there is some, I think it's still Broadcom Wi-Fi. I think I didn't see it here immediately. So it sounded on some website that there is Wi-Fi somewhere else, like, like a gross, not clean, like hack patch that we probably need to find like tomorrow or tonight. But yeah, given that, um, uh, by the way, uh, do we have here M1? Uh, is, um, I wonder if this is already M1 Max because we have, of course, the latest and greatest. So due to that, um, even if those 35 patches change, so it's actually not, not really patches, it's in Git, so it's a change, change, commits, change, change sets. Uh, do think people call it change sets? Anyway, um, there will be always new stuff, including sound, um, GPU sound, but of course GPU, um, I would expect um, it might even be another year until there is graphic acceleration of any sort, the, because the graphic acceleration right now is... Um, Mac OS as crazy as it is only, um, in case you're wondering, because some people already get um, stoked that uh, they have GPU stuff, but this GPU reverse engineering and, and proof of concept stuff is using, is purely prototyping, which is of course amazing, but for Linux, it would need Linux kernel GPU DRM driver, which doesn't exist, so this is like using on macOS the macOS kernel driver, but feeding it with the uh, commands from Mesa and, and this reversed stuff. So for the GPU, the whole in-kernel stuff needs to be written and uh, with all the memory management unit stuff and um, uh, security and, and so on, validation of commands and so on. So I would not expect well, initially, like a year ago, I said 10 years. We are now 10% in. Um, I have to say, um, I didn't expect such famous people to jump on it. One thing, Corellius releasing patches plus Hector Martin, certainly a very famous and capable um, coder and re reverser and, and hacker. And that certainly speeds stuff up. So my initially, like last year when Apple announced Apple Silicon, I said a decade. Um, but I swear I was thinking random volunteers at home and not like state of the, the best of the best. So the best of the best probably reduced it to maybe five years. Um, maybe most stuff working in two to three. But even with the best people, I would expect like like 90 plus percent compatibility, like sound and, and graphic, at least three years to be end user usable. We are one year in. So of course you can run this right now with unisolated frame buffer. And because there is so much stuff with 90% with plus, I mean, GPU acceleration so far, they have mode setting, which is of course already amazing achievement, but it's just how much work it is, right? And then 3D acceleration sound. There's also webcam, um, the whatever they call the machine learning course there um, and, and all the other features. Um, so yeah, plus they will each year have new generation of devices, so they will probably some sometime soon multi-chip um, stuff, although that probably not the most work, um, but just that Apple will of course continue to flood them with new homework to um, do every year or so. So let's um, change that. Actually, we should have done that slightly faster before. Um, we talk all the monolog here, so um, should you know, let's call this Linux as he and uh, then probably um, this commit. So that is um, Linux here, and um, let's use this commit. I'm actually for myself, um, as I said, I only purchased this. Um, did, yeah, can we show this? Uh, Mac, I'm not the greatest fan of supporting proprietary hardware as um, performant as it is, but I need this for work at Execute anyway to support um, 
auch so wie letztes Mal beim Copy and Paste. To support our Mac products. So if I said this before, if it would not be for our Mac products, I would actually not even um, bother with uh, that. This was, was it 12, which release can be data? Uh, was that? So, and uh, that was 12 RC1. RC1 and I mean, we could call this, you know what, let's let's maybe call this uh, Shy Linux. I mean, they have a Linux here. I only wonder that we uh, that we see this as Linux. This is why I would prefer to probably name it this way because then it sorts under L with all the other Linux stuff, which um, Protip is sometimes preferable. I mean, we could call this like GSET, it's suspect anyway, so whatever. Um, yeah, and then we need to, and this is just a testament. People always think like everything just works and um, falls from the sky. All right, we also reconfig that for that to take effect. And then uh, of course download config arm64 and the build target would do that, but I just want Okay, that did not just... All right, we of course have a typo there. That should be ARM64 package Linux. That should of course be HTTP. Uh, what was our encoding? Um, I think it was Git. Plus, it was best with a typo. Because HTTP is a normal download, this is why. Yeah, and um, even building on, even standing on this shoulders um, of this giant here, reversing that, even integrating testing all this stuff takes hours, right? I spent today, I wasted one hour just preparing, I didn't bother to make a live stream, don't need to show you shrinking the file system, so shrinking, my, shrinking the file system, installing a second Mac OS, uh, which was, I think, was forecasted with download installation like one hour 50 or so. Um, but so also, yeah, Apple's peak bugs, they can't even do uh, progress indicators anymore. So basically all most progress indicators in macOS are pretty useless, whether App Store or installation. Um, it was stalling with one hour 50 for a long time and then eventually flipped to less than one minute pretty instantly. So yeah, hashtag peak bucks, right? Um, so, but I was doing other stuff, um, of course, at a conference call and uh, did some work. So that was, yeah, but it was time I couldn't use the Mac. Also, yeah, virtualization, amazing stuff, right? Um, so right now we need to, and I will make it, of course, a dedicated tutorial as soon as I figured all the stuff out. But right now for M1, N1, you, um, the Asai, Asai people um, recommend installing macOS until they figured out all the installation stuff because the one true recovery OS uh, of, of Apple requires a Mac-like kernel and stuff. So yeah, this is why somehow they right now still use that. So we need, uh, we need a bootloader, we need this kernel tree, and then we need to uh, fiddle all this stuff. The problem is, um, I, I showed this the other uh, this time, this was a side developer, was it how to or guide, guide or something? Quick start, I, I showed this the other day. All oh, right, this is some garbage, by the way. So also, yeah, 2021. I think this is some stealing. Um, uh, this really sucks, to be honest. Um, that they, uh, they steal. Here's a view of yeah, what, what what a miserable. So yeah, how is, how has this a higher Google ranking? Than, but anyway, um, the problem is um, as cheap cheapskate having a three thousand five hundred euro M one M one Max. But I don't over purchase additional Apple devices. So the problem is some early UART um, is the easiest to have another Type C Mac, which I don't have. Actually, it does an not even sure if you need a um, M1 Mac. Maybe you even need an M M1 Mac. Um, 
So yeah, I've I've done that um, here partitioning and boring stuff, um, and also yeah standard conforms. I said this. So why is this not as um, recommended by me? Is I don't like those non-standard stuff, right? So everything here is non-standard. Not only um, I said this in the M1 N1 bootloader video, the whole boot procedure is non-standard. All the, or not all, but most of the hardware devices there are non-standard. I mean, they still use some Samsung-based S3 something UART, according to the patches here, not making this stuff up. S3 here, I've seen this already. So yeah, maybe still UART inherited from the very first iPhone or so of uh, Samsung S390 or something, or whatever, probably. And, um, Yeah, that is this at next segments. Hmm. Oh, this is wait a second. Why is oh, this is even the right? Oh, this was even the right, um, the wrong S3. This was where I was already running this S390. S3, SE, so Samsung uh, 2400 something port type. And um, yeah, but of course, still a little bit different, obviously. Um, S5, actually, this is as you so yeah, S5 keyword, yeah, probably inherited from all the iPhone, iPad stuff, I guess. Um, so we did, did we download, don't tell me that didn't do any missing operand, what, get clone, don't know that, uh, what, why did this not, what did we do there, don't tell me that, what, not a git repository or any other parent directories. Uh, what is going on there? Why is there always something? What did we get plus or z? Should be the checkout. Why does did that error so strangely? Hmm. Not sure. Let's maybe build this and, and see what happens. Uh, maybe there is some tiny bugs or maybe I did this wrong. Not doing that every day. So let's see what happens. If all patches apply, and so yes, this is why I prefer standard, or in general, I would recommend and um, prefer standard conformant systems. Okay, so that did somehow not pack everything. Um, that is really sad because then we wasted three gigabyte of yeah cloning git stuff on that three gigabyte of history. Tar, what did we download? L yeah, that is pretty empty. Oh, what what a <clears throat> fail. Uh, right, let's um, check git plus http. Um, should work like that. And we did m1n1 like that. GitHub, m1n1. What have I messed up there? Git plus https looks innocent though. Hmm. Always live on this channel. That is a little bit sad that we lose all that time cloning that. So yeah, the more we test and do, the more. Um, yeah, so far, of course, uh, this is also why um, installation, yeah, so, so just adding to the ARM injury, right? Because ARM was already a historically totally non-standard boot situation from the first Archon risk machines over Xeon 5MX and stuff and, and then all the ARM embedded boards so probably there are a thousand if not ten thousand ways of, of booting stuff of course on the new side embed stuff mostly with U-boot um, does bootloader there and um, just so this adding instead of I said this in the M1 and one video so instead of standard conforms right there were 20 there were a dozen sucking standards from PC BIOS over AFI to U-Boot and um, yeah, I would have really preferred if Apple would have the, had the courage. I'm not the greatest fan of AFI, but at least freaking standard compl uh, compliant. While we download this again, I'm also super disappointed that, um, by the way, I also promote Instagram here if you want to follow me with uh, occasional photo stuff. And so this was resizing that. And yeah, go live, we did that, obviously, thanks. And 
I'm also pretty unimpressed because not only standard conformance, right? For probably even the power PC, of which we still have in the office, right? PowerBook and G4 and G5 even, previous videos. Um, probably since nearly 20 years, probably since 20 years. For, so for two decades, you could choose the um, boot volume on max with an option key, right? So option chooses um, boot, right? And so they have changed that without any good reason. And now it is holding the power button. And this is also super slow, right? Previously, um, you were holding option and this stuff popped up, whether it was PowerPC open firmware or x86 EFI. Um, ironically, the EFI stuff, even with smoother animation and better icons and stuff. And um, now um, you need to click options. So, and then that even takes longer. And then even when you switch, so in, instead of being pretty instant and choosing the boot volume, you need to click once more for options. And then it's even slower. And although it's Apple Silicon, right? Highest performance and everything Apple engineered. I think it even rebooted, right? So you choose, you, I, I now have two, vol, um, two volumes here to choose on my Apple Silicon, either Mac OS or Mac OS fake stuff for M1 N1 um, booting Linux. And that even doesn't boot instantly. It looked like it rebooted the screen, I think became black and it looked like it started over. So it looked to me, it's, it's probably marking the boot volume and rebooting or resetting at least that what it looked and the whole process it's is less smooth and takes one more click and like five times as long although it's the highest apple designed silicon so yeah more, more, more. so i really wish and i mean yeah apple did this for the boot time and performance and stuff but yeah they boot there's some one true recovery OS, which is already small Mac OS and uh, choosing the boot volume is, is slower and stuff, but yeah, it doesn't really, oh, of course, most ad, um, Apple users. So yeah, not sure why this didn't download. That is a little bit, yeah. Um, let's maybe anyway, try to pre-test. Let's maybe, um, I uh, probably should have ref copied that. It would probably have been faster. Um, also, oh, no, wait, I oh, know this it's probably not the latest version. The latest version of CP does actually ref link by default. Um, ARM Linux, which do we have here? Let's pre-test that. Otherwise, if we just spend our time here downloading, it's not as much fun. So Linux test and so for patch in uh, he Picture ARM um, 64 package Linux patch do. I like to pre test always. And then let's see what happens when we actually really patch that. And okay, one failed there from the loader. Yeah, because that is not the most important. So maybe only. So some stuff is consistency, like what I prefer. I also there is one more that failed kconfig. Actually, kkconfig, all oh, right, they recently refactured. Actually, you know what? We can uh, easily fix that. Um, let's maybe use rsync. That probably should be, maybe not verbose. Just to revert, actually, this is funny. Why does it produce so much output? Should this not be? Hmm. Whatever. Uh, we can easily fix this by copying the latest, um, hopefully, mainline kernel patch over. Um, can we simply, I wonder if we can SVN CP. Linux, so that would be what 
what failed um convex failed uh, already exists so um, maybe revert that because it was a merge anyway uh, oops let's copy that let's see how that and the other was uh, set standard firmware might not be the this stuff is always a little bit all right maybe we um what already existed i'm not did i not reverse it correctly What have we even done there? Uh, hello. Uh, should this I'm a little bit puzzled by. It's just maybe this is because we have reverse merged sets so let's just do it like that sets so not firmware we also have a set some update maybe that firmware currently because we have a set standard update it's better copy that too otherwise the other patch might not um, compile because the set some update re vast performance and stuff update renames lots of files so. So then Linux test, let's do that again. Okay, that fails even more, that is disappointing. Uh, what? How does it feel? Did they change that? Uh, that is a little bit. So that would mean if that is true and we didn't mess something else up. Okay, we just, all uh, right. Or did I maybe? Oh, you know what? Maybe oh, I missed the syntax up that explains this thing. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Let's then. All right. We also need then. Delete to delete. Don't tell me. Why do we delete so much? Don't tell me. Also, orange. Okay, no, didn't mess it up. Good. Let's try that again now with it properly cleaned. So that looks, oh no, not entirely reverse patch. Uh, so some of men age. Yeah, so much to. You know what, let's maybe, is that the only thing? I mean, we can, of course, but it's not reverse. Oh, there's more stuff, what is XHCIPCI? Yeah, you know what, oh, this conf also fails still. Uh, that is really sad. It is a little bit annoying that Apparently, they each kernel need to tweak their config stuff. Don't, oh, this indeed fails. Oh, that means 15. Oh man, I'm getting really tired of that. Um, wow. Why do they need always 
I need to touch that. Oh man. Omit all. Conf C line C when you find the default of input mode as. Do we have few more February? Wait, oh wait a second, this is actually it's old. Why does it not? Uh, what? Why does stuff always fail? Yeah, probably I'll continue this as the usual stuff that you better do midnight with some beer. I need to analyze what's so uh, looks. This is a little bit strange that hmm, puzzling. Anyway, maybe we, we better also should find out. And this this is a boring thing. The problem is also that um this will take very long. What uh, maybe we Git check out options something something command line maybe like set x here and because we also need to have the download working whatever all right this also downloaded something wrong now So it's running git clone, so that is correct. So that unfortunately, yeah, I will probably continue that and uh, present you the results another day. But even this is uh, pretty automated sleep. Even this is pretty automated stuff. Um, why does this take so long to get started? No stuff is coming. Um, If we need to do this, yeah, protip, if we need to do this multiple times, then it is actually best to keep this git clone and not delete it. Even with this fully automated stuff, there's always something that can go wrong and somehow live on this channel, um, of course, <laughs> live, live twice as much goes wrong. But what is next is Following this guide, um, of course, I mean, also imagine all the efforts, right? We only stand on the shoulder of those reversing, reverse engineer giants, um, figuring all the stuff out, right? The need list, certainly from them, documented also on YouTube and stuff if you want to follow their work. Um, figuring reverse and reversing all the stuff, so that is even worse than what I previously mentioned, not standard conformant of not EFI, but yeah, even leave it to um, the community, the users, to reverse engineer all this stuff. Um, I would also chime in, actually the thing is, and maybe I should actually make a dedicated video about this, because I would actually follow up on Lewis Rossman uh, schematics and stuff, what he always said, and totally agree with it. You previous video from us, uh, real to real or other um, stuff you got, even with uh, schematics. And uh, it was normal for your TV 30, 40 years ago, or reel to reel and other equipment, even on a Behringer mixer, like audio mixer, I brought in like 1999 ish or so. I think that even came with a partial um, schematic for how the audio ins and outs and stuff is are rooted. Um, and I would go as far as if you buy like professional gear or also pseudo, like Apple, yeah. I'm not making this up, documenting that here live on this channel, Apple shopping event. Uh, yeah, um, this is so silly shopping, yeah, shopping, shopping. Capitalism at its finest. Give us all your money and stuff, but yeah, give us all your money, but we don't give you freaking schematics for what you purchase. So, supercharge for pros is here, then take money where your word is and supercharge for pros, in my opinion, specifications. Um, Previously, 20 years ago, even S3 gave me specifications for the S3 Verge, for example, and Intel gives specifications, and it doesn't even cost the money, right? Or even for like 
Intel and AMD CPU, you get most of the specifications. Unfortunately, not all like early boot stuff and other secret stuff not, but I would go as far as if the user, it's something else if you lease it or so, but we don't lease it or rent it. We buy it for even super charged prices, right? Apple tax and stuff. And I would, on top of Louis Rossman, hardware, if sold, whether to the to some middleman or the end user, needs to have specifications for people to fix bugs, to write their own software, like we do here, like hashtag macOS peak bugs, right? Stuff, yeah, I'm already getting pretty disappointed of, of using macOS too much the last days. It's like, yeah, the hardware, amazing performance, the software, yeah, peak bugs can't even display progress indicators probably. And um, yeah, specifications, right? Um, this of course does not only apply for Apple, but also Nvidia, right? Um, of course, and this is not uncommon, right? Before people jump here on this channel, it's like, no, trade secrets, they can't do this. Like Intel and AMD can do that, right? Why can they do that since 1978 or 76 or whatever? Um, or certainly the first 404, what was there, uh, was it 40, no, 50 years or so, Intel 4004 or so. And the same applies for um, Apple. And Apple is basically, honestly, behaving a little bit like the cheap crap com companies, right? Like VR, for example, who often didn't publish the most specification. Of course, VR, Nano or C7 and similar, mostly compatible, but for example, VR usually didn't publish erratas or for a long time didn't publish all or most. I, I think they have still not, although yeah, they're probably mostly defunct, but they, I think they published some or they leaked uh, via open Chrome um, graphic specifications, but still not all. So Apple, um, uncommon to high-end companies like AMD, which pub publishes even GPU specifications, Apple is behaving like the cheap crap companies, right? There's like, like this no-name stuff of, yeah, we don't give you our specifications like, like other ARM socks and stuff, right? Um, so in my opinion, like, if you want like quality, like AMD, publish your, like, what do you have to hide, right? We, people like Hector Martin um, or we with other stuff on this channel, reverse uh, stuff anyway. So, so yeah, adding to that specification. So what have we base name? What have we uh, touch? Um, what have we done here? Find type. So we do that probably for, um, we do that for deterministic um, mm, tables, I think. Um, so that the chance should be like more, why is base name missing operand? What is it doing there? Get checkout so that probably fatal to get repository for any, what have we? Base name, mm. name, what is it trying to do here? Our own code. Mm. That is strange. What have I messed up there? That usually doesn't happen for me. I can only do, I have strange Unicode characters in there. That happens at times for me. I wouldn't necessarily rule that out that I again have here. Mm, that is, yeah, recurring annoying stuff to debug. Uh, maybe also, oops, oh, this is, um, no, this is actually, mm. otherwise this in touch should be correct. Now I will figure that out. So yeah, I have the stuff to package and build whatever is going wrong there. Maybe I need to do that again already, obviously. Uh, whatever, um, did I, maybe we shouldn't delete that. Maybe I should also read the sources. I mean, pro tip, uh, read the sources or base name. Uh, fix me compact, can I remove to later, check out, download, delete out, what? B, 
Did set file alternative directory? Oh, this must be whatever it is. It is not sure. Tar name base name b set file preparing files for final tarball. So that is deleting that stuff. Uh, so this touch we had run to reach files and chip out of failure. Mm. If I do this multiple times, I will simply remove the rm-r recursive stuff there. Maybe it's because I named this, I know I named this gz. What did I had previously there? Um, so we had, uh, we previously download, actually this is also how we can do that. Maybe this would actually be even, would this be more performant? We could actually download a GitHub um, archive, maybe that would actually be more performant and um, actually do we need pc2 there for some, what did I do for, I wouldn't rule out that our scripts need some, oh no we had tar gz, um, bizarre. I have an org on code fails. I mean, could be X, but get HTTPS. Otherwise, that should be. Hmm. Ah, maybe the slash. Huh, the slash. It's it's a slash. That's that's it, of course, and that is why this is empty. And then huh. there's always something. Maybe we should make this more reliable. Maybe we should. Probably the best way, um, the best pro tip would be to avoid wasting like 30 minutes or 50 minutes like that in the future. Would be to check for that. Um, I mean, we could silently remove it, um, or if we don't want to have that for inconsistencies, we could simply uh, warn for that also, like error, this uh, shouldn't be empty, that probably would be a pretty good thing. Um, pretty good, uh, yeah, pretty damn good thing. Anyway, so yeah, then this probably will work, and I will need to figure out um, our patches of the config stuff we need for our all modular kernel to all modular correctly. Um, the set standard stuff is only nice to have, or the, um, the set standard firmware is only for our init RD for the P3 optimization mostly, but it's of course also, also nice for other um, not the, although this is of course state of the art, but otherwise it's it's keeping the memory requirements for the init RD some megabyte lower. Um, so I need to uh, spend some minutes to read it that later at midnight or so. So yeah, have to rush to the family. Um, hope you enjoyed this document documenting the road here for um, M1, N1, Asai Linux enablement. Don't forget to share and subscribe and uh, hopefully we will have Linux booting the next days. And uh, until then, have a good day or night and see you next time.